I'm counting my sheep and then each one that passes is another dream to ashes and they all fall down As I lay me down tonight Hello polar bears, I'm going to be reading Ben's Adventures Under the Big Top Written by Elizabeth Gerlock and illustrated by Stephanie Hyder. Hi, I'm Ben. It's a school day, so we're up with the sun. I'm in class with my brother and sister. We're triplets. Isn't that fun? Our teachers are always waiting for us with a smile. I nod good morning to them and all my friends. I'm excited to be here and learn all I can. Some days we play with blocks and cars and make fun shapes from squiggly bars. We learn our letters, numbers, animals, colors. There is so much happening that sometimes it's like a circus. And my teacher, Miss Lisa, is the ringmaster. Little ones come gather round and welcome to the class big top. Today's the day for laughs and joy. The fun will never stop. We'll learn to juggle great big blocks that sit right over there. We nod and wonder, then we think, what else is at this fair? She reaches down to grab the blocks and tosses with a flourish. Our eyes all gaze right up at her. She guides this fancy circus. She blinks just once and points to me and then at my friend Finn. We nod and spin around one time. We're clowns and fit right in. Miss Lisa kicks and jumps and flips. She's too a circus clown. Jumping, flipping, flying high, her blocks come crashing down. I turn and look right up at Finn, where he's on the trapeze. Swinging smoothly through the air, he looks like he's at ease. I blink my eyes and there they are. Ten lions march around the room. I jump and grab my sparkly wand. I'm now in a tamer costume. I stop, stand still, then hear their roar. It fills me with delight. If these weren't ones in my own dream, it would be such a fright. They march first left and next the right, but stop and come my way. I smile, they smile, and then they say, we'll play with you today. The popcorn pops, the candy is sweet. The lights light up the room. This circus class is so much fun, but there's a loud kaboom. Clowny Colin finds the cannon and shoots up through the air. He gladly lands on pillows after knocking past the chair. And forward rolls, then jumps right up and finally takes a bow. We clap, he laughs, and then I'm up since my turn is right now. Time for me to juggle blocks of red and blue and green. I start with four, then add some more, and soon I have 15. Up and down, then up and down, then up and down they go. One by one, they're up and down, and then they start to glow. They crash, I laugh, then tell my friend, now that was sure some fun. I'm very proud that I could juggle way more than just the one. Now elephants will march in one long line, connected trunk to tail. Their legs prance high and very much in sync. They do this very well. They're large and looming, soft and fuzzy, tusks of shiny white. And silly Ava climbs their sparkly vest with every ounce of might. But now I hear a loud, <clears throat> it's in my circus dreams. Miss Lisa wants us gathered round for reading time, it seems. Snap, 
I open my eyes, look around, and I'm on the floor with my group. I love story time and hearing about other dreams I can dream. I relax back in my chair. Today's book is about a kid's traveling circus. What do you know? Miss Lisa reads about all the jobs at a circus. Maybe I could do that for real one day. School day is done and it's time to head home. Hello, my little sweethearts. I've missed you, Mommy says, giving us each a hug and a kiss when she picks us up. How was your day today? I want to tell her about my circus dream, but instead start thinking about tomorrow's adventure. I hope you've enjoyed Ben's Adventures Under the Big Top. We've got a lot more in store for you. Have a good night. Well, just a little lullaby. Yes, it's just a little lullaby. I keep myself from crying myself. This little lullaby to keep, keep.